Aerospace Manufacturer, Wikipedia Article Audio An aerospace manufacturer is a company or individual involved in the various aspects of designing, building, testing, selling, and maintaining aircraft, aircraft parts, missiles, rockets, or spacecraft. Aerospace is a high-technology industry. The aircraft industry is the industry supporting aviation by building aircraft and manufacturing aircraft parts for their maintenance. This includes aircraft and parts used for civil aviation and military aviation. Most production is done pursuant to type certificates and defense standards issued by a government body. This term has been largely subsumed by the more encompassing term, aerospace industry. Market Largest Companies In 2015 the aircraft production was worth $180.3 billion, 61% airliners, 14% business and general aviation, 12% military aircraft, 10% military rotary wing and 3% civil rotary wing, while their MRO was worth $135.10 BN or $315.40 BN combined. In 2018, the new commercial aircraft value is projected for $270.4 billion while business aircraft will amount for $18 billion and civil helicopters for $4 billion. In the European Union, aerospace companies such as Airbus, B-Systems, Thales, Dassault, Saabub, Terma A S and Leonardo are participants in the global aerospace industry and research effort. In Russia, large aerospace companies like Oberon Prom and the United Aircraft Corporation are among the major global players in this industry. In the United States, the Department of Defense and NASA are the two biggest consumers of aerospace technology and products. The Bureau of Labor Statistics of the United States reported that the aerospace industry employed 444,000 wage and salary jobs in 2004, many of which were in Washington and California. This marked a steep decline from the peak years during the Reagan administration when total employment exceeded 1 million aerospace industry workers. Geography during that period of recovery a special program to restore U.S. competitiveness across all U.S. industries, Project Socrates, contributed to employment growth as the U.S. aerospace industry captured 72% of world aerospace market. By 1999 U.S. share of the world market fell to 52%. Important locations of the civil aerospace industry worldwide include Seattle, Wichita, Kansas, Dayton, Ohio, and St. Louis in the United States, Montreal, and Toronto in Canada, Toulouse in France and Hamburg in Germany, the northwest of England and Bristol in Britain, Komsomolsk on Amur, and Irkutsk in Russia, Kiev and Kharkiv in Ukraine, Nagoya in Japan as well as São José dos Campos in Brazil where Embraer is based. Cities Several consolidations took place in the aerospace and defense industries over the last few decades. B-Systems is the successor company to numerous British aircraft manufacturers which merged throughout the second half of the 20th century. Many of these mergers followed the 1957 Defense White Paper. In 1993, then United States Secretary of Defense Lay Aspen and his deputy William J. Perry held the Last Supper at the Pentagon with contractors executives who were told that there were twice as many military suppliers as he wanted to see. $55 billion in military industry mergers took place from 1992 to 1997, leaving mainly Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Raytheon. 
Boeing bought McDonnell Douglas for $13.3 billion U.S. in 1996. Raytheon acquired Hughes Aircraft Company for $9.5 billion in 1997. Consolidation Between 1988 and 2010, more than 5,452 mergers and acquisitions with a total known value of US$579 billion US dollars were announced worldwide. Marconi Electronic Systems, a subsidiary of the General Electric Company plc, was acquired by British Aerospace for US$12.3 billion US dollar in 1999 merger, to form B Systems. On September 4, 2017, United Technologies acquired Rockwell Collins in cash and stock for $23 billion, $30 billion including Rockwell Collins' net debt, $4.500 plus million of synergies expected by year 4. Suppliers The October 16 2017 announcement of the C-Series partnership between Airbus and Bombardier Aerospace could trigger a daisy chain of reactions towards a new order. Airbus gets a new, efficient model at the lower end of the narrow-body market which provides the bulk of airliner profits and can abandon the slow-selling A319 while Bombardier benefits from the growth in this expanded market even if it holds a smaller residual stake. Boeing could forge a similar alliance with either Embra or with its E-Jet E2 or Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and its MRJ. On December 21, Boeing and Embra are confirmed to be discussing a potential combination with a transaction subject to Brazilian government regulators, the company's boards and shareholders' approvals. Supply Chain the largest aerospace suppliers are United Technologies with $28.2 billion of revenue, followed by GE Aviation with $24.7 billion, Safran with $22.5 billion, Rolls-Royce Holdings with $16.9 billion, Honeywell Aerospace with $15.2 billion and Rockwell Collins including B-E Aerospace with $8.1 billion. The electric aircraft development could generate large changes for the aerospace suppliers. Before the 1980s-1990s, aircraft and aero-engine manufacturers were vertically integrated. Then Douglas Aircraft outsourced large aero structures and the Bombardier Global Express pioneered the Tier 1 supply chain model inspired by automotive industry, with 10 to 12 risk-sharing limited partners as funding around half of the development costs. The Embraer E-Jet followed in the late 1990s with fewer than 40 primary suppliers. Tier 1 suppliers were led by Honeywell, Safran, Goodrich Corporation, and Hamilton Sundstrand. In the 2000s Rolls-Royce reduced its supplier count after bringing in automotive supply chain executives. On the Airbus A380, less than 100 major suppliers outsource 60% of its value, even 80% on the A350XWB. Boeing embraced an aggressive Tier 1 model for the B787 but with its difficulties began to question why it was earning lower margins than its suppliers while it seemed to take all the risk, and suing its 2011 Partnering for Success initiative, as Airbus initiated its own scope and initiative for the A320. Tier 1 consolidation also affects engine manufacturers. GE Aviation acquired Avio in 2013 and Rolls-Royce plc is taking control of Industria de Turbo Propulsors.